Yes! Y'all, I'm just so excited because my hair came out bomb today. Like, whoa! And you know what it is though? Okay, so here's the deal. I usually don't do the lock method, which is leave-in conditioner, oil, and cream. I actually did that, but I did a uh, super cream, a Manoy oil by Carol's daughter. Well, let me let me just show y'all what I used because I already know y'all gonna ask. So I used the uh, super cream. So I tr I have all travel sizes because obviously I'm traveling and I didn't check a bag. So I have the super cream by Diva Curl. Then I use the Manoy oil from Carol's daughter. I love this stuff. And then I use the ultra defining gel by Diva Curl, and that's it. So. Yeah, that's how we got today's hair. And I didn't even like condition or anything in the shower. I just wet my hair because I left my conditioner. And so I just wet it and, um, you know, did my usual diffusing routine. So I'm like, whoa, like, whoa, right now. Um, so I'm actually about to head out to the YouTube space. Obviously, I'm taking you guys with me, but I did want to talk about my hair um, because it just looks, oh my God, y'all, like, bruh. Seriously, I need to like start doing that method more. If you guys want, which I already know y'all are gonna say you do want it, I will do that routine in a video for you guys because I have been on this one product or two product like wave for doing my wash and goes for years, like for a long, long time. And I don't know, I, I think it, I did it because I don't like using a lot of different things. I think it kind of just was like something that I did over the years because I, I, I wanted to be simple with my hair routine and I didn't want to do like a five step situation or need multiple things. And so I kind of like left the whole idea of using multiple products at one time, more than like one or two in my hair. So, but um, I need to change my mind about this because my hair is popping today. Like, and this is like, I just did it just now. Like it just looks so good. It's shiny, it's soft, um, but it has hold so it will stay up all day. And it's just, um, oh my gosh, y'all. And it helps that I just got my hair cut. So I'm still like, getting used to like how short my hair is well it's really not that much shorter we really didn't cut off a lot but when my hair sh is short it coils up and just like shrinks um so i didn't really lose a lot of length see there's still a lot of length there but it coils um so i have shrinkage which i don't mind shrinkage at all like it's cool for me like i'm not i'm not tripping about the shrinkage so yeah about to call my Uber and head to the space. So I'm excited to see it. I've never been there, like I said. So this will be fun today. So I just got in, I just checked in, got settled. I'm like in this holding screening room for holding. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna wait here until somebody comes and grabs me and then we'll go to the set. But I'm gonna show y'all a little bit out here first. So quiet. YouTube. YouTube. It's like so quiet in here. <laughs> I feel like I feel like if I talk in my regular voice, I'm gonna be so loud. But my voice projects naturally, so that's me anywhere. But yeah, so I'm just gonna chill, kick it here. They gave me some forms to look at. Um, I have a script and everything that's gonna be on teleprompter and whatnot. So that's gonna be fun. I'm so excited. Like I'm here. I, I, I'm here. <laughs> Hey y'all, so I just got back to my hotel from the YouTube space, YouTube space, YouTube space and having lunch with my manager and her intern, which was really awesome. I love like getting with my manager in person because a lot of what we do is like over phone or over email and it's just great to have like that human contact with her to really like just like talk about things and kind of catch up and everything so um, it was really great seeing her and meeting her intern and it's just exciting like today I'm like on a high because you know I think I legit get energy and just like I get something from being on camera. I get something from like being on set and like doing stuff and it just was like an awesome experience and I just I just loved it. So I'm like on a high today. Like today is a great day. Can I get over? Can I get over? Hey y'all, I like it is already like 2 p.m. on Wednesday and I totally forgot to vlog today. I'm like I'm like like tripping. Um 
I've been forgetting to vlog like a lot the last few days, but it's okay. We're here. How y'all doing? Um, yesterday I did vlog, but as you guys probably saw, I uploaded it um, as a separate video because I felt like it just needed to be its own video on its own right and I wanted it to stand by itself on my platform so uh, I was really debating on putting up that video like seriously I tweeted about it and a lot of y'all were like do it please blah 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 so I was like you know what all right you know like I do this for y'all and I know that I'm not the only person feeling this way and I know that you know it's better to mourn you know in numbers versus mourning by yourself so I it, I felt great after I filmed it um, well I won't say I felt great but I felt better that's a better word I felt better after filming the video and you know I was gonna post it even last night but I was like let me take a step back really quick before I like just jump the gun and upload this because I'm a little worried you know and I told myself that like if if God shows me the signs in the morning to post it, like, I'm going to do it. Because I had a whole other video ready for you guys. I had a get ready with me video ready to go live today. But instead, I was like, you know what? Let me put this video up. Uh, let me share more of myself with my audience. So that's what I did. And I've gotten so much positive feedback already. And it's only been up for a like an hour, a couple hours. So that's been awesome and exciting. And I mean, I knew that y'all always like are down for me and always support and stuff. But no, it's still that level kind of like afraid because it's another layer of myself that I'm sharing with you guys. And, you know, there's always kind of like that initial like oh you know like I'm sharing a lot right now so I'm a little scared but you know at the end of the day like I always like think to myself when I make decisions am I coming from a place of love or am I coming from a place of fear or hate and you know me not posting was deciding to make a decision based off fear me posting was coming from a place of love and so I chose to come from a place of love and to share so that's what I did today um, is really chill I have an at-home workout that I'm doing I haven't fallen off y'all like um, I'm not working out as many times a week as I initially was um, I've been like doing maybe twice a week but I've been doing really 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 good with my diet so um, yeah and again like my weeks have been kind of like weird the last couple so I'm not even like tripping on myself or making myself feel like a type of way for um, for uh, not working out like three or four times a week because I just I'm not putting that pressure on myself like I'm not stressing myself out at all okay this is a lifestyle change okay a lifestyle I don't want it to just be something that I do for two months and then let go of like it's a lifestyle change so you know I'm trying to make things happen to where they stick and I don't just like feel like it's like a, a phase that I'm in and then I decide to and then I decided to just like forget about it and then go back to my old ways because the whole point, like I said, is a lifestyle change. So yeah, I'm feeling good about it. I'm discovering new things, new foods that I like. Um, I talked about juicing or juices on my Instagram the other day and um, you guys gave some suggestions and everything for juices. So I'm kind of exploring that kind of, you know, um, world of juicing and like drinking juices on a regular basis and stuff like that especially for my greens because I don't eat enough greens like I'll eat a salad or something a day or maybe I'll eat some broccoli or something but not nearly the amount that I'm supposed to have in my body you know so I try to like I've been trying to add in like a green juice that has a bunch of greens in it every day to my diet and that's been good so I've been doing that I've just been trying to find ones that I really like so if you have any like juices that you really enjoy let me know so I can try them out because I've tried a couple and there's one it starts with an S it's called like Suja or something and I got it at Target it was like five bucks but I see it a lot of places and it's pretty accessible um and where i've been like i saw it at the airport so i got it at the airport yesterday at lax and stuff so sorry y'all i completely like lost track and forgot to um <laughs> get back on and talk about whatever i was talking about i think i was talking about juicing um sorry my sister called me and then i was trying to park and 
I just like completely forgot that I was vlogging. But I just um, put these twists in my hair. And as you can see, obviously I have clip-ins in. So these are curly clip-ins from, what's the, what's the name? <laughs> curly Heaven. Okay, Curly Heaven sent me these clip-ins. And I'm testing them out before I actually like tell y'all about them or whatever. Um, and so I think I need more clip-ins though because the top I like ran out when it came up to like right here. This is my last clip-in right here. So this is like just like tied into the rest of my hair. So it's already kind of coming unraveling because it's such a small amount of hair on this side. So I think I'm gonna email them and just say that I need another pack to make it really full and how I want it to look. But I think it's gonna look bomb because this hair is really, really nice. Like when I spritzed it, and combed it like y'all it was coiling and so soft I was like yes like, yes like this is about to be good I definitely will show you guys how this dries and um, get back to you guys on the results good morning good morning good morning I am headed out to go work out with Brandy but I wanted to show you guys my hair before I left um, so um, it's blending decently so the so my hair is in a bun up here because um, this pack wasn't full enough to like actually go throughout my whole hair like I was mentioning yesterday. And so I already talked to the business and they're going to send me another pack. They do have options for like thicker, um, like more fullness. So uh, I got one of the smaller packs, but they do have like a full set that is actually thicker than the one that I have. She said that she would have sent that to me, but she just didn't have it on hand at the time. So she's just gonna send me another set to complete this one. But um, I'm not sure how much you can see. I'm trying to get it in the sunlight so you guys can like see. So I did like the twist out and it worked good. Like if I had another pack to fill up my hair, like it would blend really nicely. Um, and honestly, I could probably twist the hair that I, the actual clip-ins itself to better match like my own curl pattern. Cause this is the clip-in right here. And this is really how like my natural curl pattern looks. So I could honestly tw not twist out my hair and just um, put the clip-ins in when my hair is wet and like do a wash and go and have the hair actually, you know, be the twisted out part. But we'll see, I'm still experimenting with it and all of that. So I've got to run, I, this is, you know, got to work for today, but um, I'll let y'all know how things go with that. And we are going to the Kanye West concert tonight, which I totally freaking forgot until like yesterday when Mark reminded me. So I completely forgot we were doing that today. So we're doing that. Um, that's going to be awesome and bomb. I've never been to a Kanye show before, so it's exciting. And then we're off to Vegas tomorrow. So this week is just like crazy and lots of things happening. And then next week is New York and BeautyCon and everything. So I'm excited. Let me know if you're going to be at BeautyCon underneath this video so we can meet up. I will be at the Carol's Daughter booth doing a meetup. So let me know if you'll be there. Stay tuned to my social media especially instagram to see when i will be at the carol's daughter booth so i'm just getting in from my workout um you guys can kind of see my hair a little bit better now maybe not i don't know but um it held up through my workout you can't see i don't know if you can i can't tell i'm on my phone right now so it's kind of hard for me to see um but yeah so I just got in. I, it is like super early still. It's like only 9.30 because we had an early session today. Usually we do like 10 or like 11, but we went earlier today. So I feel like up and ready to go for the day. Um, so I, okay, so I had oatmeal before I left, but I didn't eat that much. But at the same time, I'm not super hungry. So I think I'm just gonna um, probably have a protein shake for breakfast and uh, make some tea. So I got some tea from Tivana yesterday and I'm gonna show y'all what I got. So I got this, uh, well obviously this is not really tea. This is the rock sugar that they have. Um, usually when I run out of this, I don't get more because I don't know, I just never buy it again. But I always buy it if I'm like in there buying tea. So I buy this because this is a sweetener that they use. Supposedly it's like not as bad as refined sugar or whatever but it still like sweetens your tea so I like using this but if I don't have this I just use honey um, and then I got two types of teas so I mixed this one this is the I mixed um, wild orange blossom monkey 
monkey picked oolong and youth berry together so i put all those in here and it smells so good like oh my god I love Tivana. It's expensive. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, every time I go in there, I spend like $100. I'm like, how the hell do I spend $100 on tea? But they do it to you because, like, the teas are so, like, fragrant and taste good. And it's just like, yeah. And I, I don't know what type of sales training those people go through, but they are, like, intense. Like, I've never been in another store where they, like, low-key hound you as much as they do in Tivana. Um, so you just kind of, kind of learn to like, no, I'm good. Like, I don't need your help in here. Cause it's kind of like how Lush, like Lush kind of has like, uh, salespeople like that too, where they're kind of like on top of you, like right when you get in there and it's like, damn, can I just like walk around and like look for myself? I got that one. And then I also got this, uh, Kiwi Colada, which is the one that Mark likes. And so he don't be drinking tea like that. Don't get me wrong. But he had it when we got my little sister some, like a, month or two ago and i told him i was going to tivana he was like can you get some of that uh whatever one that your sister got so i got that for him but i doubt he'll drink much of it i made him some last night and he drank it but he was like why'd you buy this it's not like i'm gonna drink it like that i'm like then why'd you tell me to get it like i'll drink it and the good thing about getting the tins is that the tea lasts longer because basically once the tea hits oxygen or is sitting out it like basically goes bad after like a week but the tins will make it last up to a year so as long as you keep it in the tins airtight the um the tea will last longer so i know that they have like the baggies that are like packed and ready to go there if you have a tin at home like get those but like don't just get the bag and then like expect that to last because that's pretty fast to drink all that tea in um, a week. So, I mean, I drink tea like every couple days or whatever, but I still wouldn't go through one of those bags in in a week. So get the tin, okay? Get the tin if you do buy uh, Tivana. But yeah, those are the ones that I got. Um, the oolong tea is supposed to be like better for your waistline. So that's why I mixed it with the youth berry tea and um, the orange blossom because I really like the way that tastes. But um Oh my gosh, I'm just like loving these clip-ins. Like, so I, yeah, I'm just like loving these clip-ins. Sorry, I'm getting distracted by my hair, y'all. <laughs> um, but yeah, so um, yeah, try some tea. Like, honestly, if you're not a big tea drinker, like Teavana is the best tea to try because it is honestly the best that's like mostly accessible, like loose leaf tea. Like I cannot, I can like not drink um bagged tea anymore because i can literally taste the difference between loose leaf and bagged tea now because it's just it's just a difference it's it's like buying frozen fruit versus like having fresh fruit like yes you can thaw out the frozen fruit and you can put it in a smoothie and you don't tell the difference but if you're trying to eat frozen fruit like just by itself like you know it's not the same and so i prefer loose leaf tea if I'm drinking it and then every time I do drink it, it kind of reminds me why I like loose leaf better than um, regular. And plus when you drink loose leaf tea, you get more of like the in, like nutrients and stuff from the tea itself than if it's bagged. Because again, anything that's more processed, you're getting less and less of the nutrients. Just like the way when you cook food, you know, the purest form of it is when it's raw. So you want to eat as much raw food as possible because that's better for you and you get the most ingredients, not ingredients, the most nutrients from that food. But the more you cook a food, the more you lose those nutrients that you're having. So that's why, you know, people say eat as much, you know, raw food as possible because that is, you know, the best way to eat food but more you the more you cook it just like red meat isn't terribly bad unless you're eating like a well done steak you know you've cooked out all of the nutrients the best way to eat steak is like medium or um medium rare or whatever because you're getting more of like the actual protein and everything in the steak so if you like red meat i'm just saying i don't eat that much red meat but i'm just kind of trying to give you guys an example of what i'm talking about but yeah so now i'm about to shower and probably chill for a while because it's so early then i'm going to clean my apartment because simone is coming her and her boyfriend are coming to dallas this weekend and even though i'm not gonna be here they're staying at my apartment so i want to make sure everything is good for them that they've got clean sheets and um you know dishes and all that stuff and 
they're you know they have a nice time while they're in my apartment so yeah I'm gonna do that today and then get ready for the concert later all right y'all so I'm showing you this is my little teapot isn't it so cute this is the tea um, infuser right here so the tea goes inside there and then you put water in here then you just place it in there and then let it sit for however many minutes so depending on the type of tea you've got you'll let it stew for however many minutes so for the youth berry since that's the one that least uh, needs to basically brew for the least amount of time I'm only gonna brew it for two minutes right so basically if you brew it too long the tea will burn and then it will be bad <laughs> so you want to make sure that you are paying attention to the different tea uh, brew times to make sure that you don't burn your tea and so I actually forgot that my water was boiling for like 10 minutes literally so it's really really hot right now so I'm letting it sit for a little while before I actually pour it into my teapot um, but my only thing with this teapot, I just got it yesterday and I need to look it up online, but I, I feel like I can put this straight on the burner, but I'm not sure. So I haven't put it on there. I need to look it up because I don't want to crack this thing because I just got it yesterday and it was like $30. So I'm going to let this, um, let the water sit really fast and then pour my tea in there and I'll show you guys what the tea looks like. It's in there. So that's what it mixed um, looks like. So the green is the oolong tea and then and that has caffeine and then the other tea is the orange blossom and youth berry which is more of a dessert tea. It's like a berry taste and then um, it's more sweet uh, on its own and then the oolong is kind of more of a like tea that will help me kind of you know inch my, get inches off my waist basically. So yeah. I'm gonna wait for my water. Let's see, it's been sitting for like a minute or so. So let's just pour it in there. Let me see this. Let me pour this in there. Okay, I'm gonna try to do this without, you know, burning anything. I don't think I brewed enough water. Oh, shoot. You know what, since that water is so hot, I'm just gonna add some more. You know what, I'm not just gonna do that water. I'm gonna do my flow. Yes. I wanted to do my filtered water, but that's fine. I'm, I'm not too bougie for tap, okay? I'm not too bougie for tap. Cut that off. We pour that in there. Alright, cool. So now I'm gonna stick this in there. Put that there. And you're supposed to put like uh, two tablespoons or so of this stuff um, so I'm gonna do that and that isn't it so pretty so I'm gonna put that in there and you can usually get like one or two brews out of different teas depending on what tea you have so I can stick that in there and then I can drink it and then put more water in there and rebrew it um, I'm not sure how many times you can get it out of this tea though. It just depends on the tea which one. Then I'm gonna get my rock sugar. I hope the TV isn't too loud in the background. I'm watching um, Cupcake Wars. I love the Food Channel. If y'all didn't know, like that's, I just watch, me and Mark watch the Food Channel all the time. And I, I honestly don't like to cook, but I love to watch other people cook. So I'm putting like, three tablespoons of this or three teaspoons or whatever this little guy is this is um one of the uh one cup yeah um the spoon that i got the last time i spent a whole bunch of money at tivana dang it i can't scoop with one hand okay cool so i'm gonna put that in there and uh, yeah, and I'm actually gonna put a little bit more because of the oolong. It's like not as um, it's not as sweet as I like it. But you know, we don't need the extra sugar. But whatever, I want it to be sweet today. But sometimes I'll drink my tea without any sugar or honey in it, just to you know, not have that extra sugar. But today I want it to be sweet. So I'm gonna let this stew or brew or whatever it's called for two minutes and then um, I'll be ready to drink it. So of course I'm drinking out of my girl boss cup because you know, 
how appropriate. <laughs> this is my view. I like to sit up here and kind of just like take a moment to just like look out the window and like just see the people down there. I'm sitting on my windowsill um, and just, you know, hanging out, um, kind of getting some peace before my day really gets started, started, but finished my tea and it's so good. I, I even made it better than they did at the store the other day because I asked them to kind of make me some of the mix that I like asked them to do. And so they made it for me, but I made it better. <laughs> I already know that like this is the only time in my life that I'm really gonna like be able to live like this because you know, hopefully and prayerfully, um, this season of being single and not single, like I'm not in a relationship, but single as in like a single person is coming to an end soon. Cause you know, I'll, I'll be frank with you guys and, and open about, you know, my baby fever that I've been having lately. Um, it's been like on 10 for like the last few months and just like, you know, like I'm 25 going on 26 and I've literally done everything that I wanted to do in my twenties. Like I got my degrees, I have lived the single life, I've partied, I've enjoyed myself, I've got a an apartment in a city, in a high rise, like those were all of my goals for my 20s. And so now that I've done all that, like I really feel accomplished and I really feel like, okay, like we've made it, we've done it. And so, um, you know, like it's not that I'm like, okay, I'm ready to like go have kids and um, be married and all of that so quickly but you know I can just feel it that that this season is kind of coming to an end and um, soon that will change so whatever that means I don't know I'm, I'm open to it but I'm definitely in a place where um, you know like I want to have companionship and I want to you know start building a life with somebody and yes you know I'm with Mark and hopefully that's with Mark you know we'll see um, I love him and and we're great together and you guys see like our chemistry and everything on camera and on when I vlog and we're literally like that 24 7 like cameras on or we're off <laughs> we are laughing we are having a good time we're enjoying each other and you know like for me that was something that I always wanted in a relationship was like I want us to have fun I want us to enjoy ourselves enjoy life travel do things together and also like when you know when I have children I want them to have that type of life I traveled so much as a child and I feel like that was the greatest gift that my parents gave me was exposure to the world and it's really shaped the way that I see the world now as a, as a grown adult. So I want to give that to my own kids, you know, in the future. I want them to be exposed to different cultures and see different things and grow up in a very diverse environment so that they grow up learning how to love and care for others in a way that, you know, that I think is best, that I think is just the way that you should be. Um, you know, so I, I, I can say that that's something that like Mark and I have talked about. I mean, we're grown, you know, like we're not 19, 20 years old, just like dating for whatever. Like we're in an adult relationship. And if you guys have um, followed me for a while, you know, I said the same thing about my ex that I was with before is like, you know, we had talked about marriage and all these things. Um, and yeah, I'm going to talk about marriage with everybody that I'm with at, be, at this point because that is something that I want and that's something that I'm making a goal for myself. And I think the best advice that I ever got from a woman that I really looked up to and mentored me a bit, um, she said she was in her 60s last or two years ago and she had just got married but she looked like super young so you would never thought she was in her 60s but she had just got married like for the first time a few years before, prior and she told me she was like you know what the the biggest and she was a woman of color so you know I was asking her questions and um she was like the one thing that I wish I would have done is I wish I would have made having a family and being married a goal of mine at your age I wish I would have taken the time to put just as much energy that I'm putting into my career into that. And so um, that's what I that's what I am doing, you know, and that's what I've been doing because I don't want to be one of those people that is incredibly successful, but I have nobody to share with because family is so important to me. And being able to have a life where you're sharing it with others, I think is what life is all about, um, you know? So 
prayerfully um, in the next, you know, year, two years, three years, whatever, on God's time, um, I start my family and all of those things. And of course, I want to share that with you guys too. So um, let's hope that, you know, <laughs> we can look back on this vlog, this conversation uh, three years from now, whenever, and say, you know, wow, like we knew it was coming, you know, like I feel that in my spirit. So We'll see, and you know, I use, I, I, it's kind of exciting, I'm using these vlogs as like a diary low key, and um, I've always been that type of person to like have a diary, or you know, want to look back and see where I was, and be able to say, wow, like look how much I've grown, and as a person and stuff, so yeah, you guys are just joining me now. <laughs> and, um, and so yeah, we'll see, we'll see what happens, but I'm gonna go ahead and continue drinking my tea. And, you know, kind of getting some peace before my day starts. So, hope you guys are having a blessed one, okay? I hope you guys are enjoying life and doing well. Oh, and don't forget to um, join my giveaway. Or not join my giveaway. Um, enter my contest that I'm doing. The Doing Well contest. Do that. Make sure you're sharing it with your little sisters and um, cousins and you know friends and all that. Um, I've already gotten so many submissions, which I'm so excited about. Um, and I'm so just, yeah, I just love this contest. I feel like I'm gonna do it again later because I think it's just gonna be a hit. So yeah. All right, y'all, it's time to start getting ready for the concert. And I've been trying to figure out what the heck I'm gonna wear all day. Besides like cleaning and whatnot, um, I redid my hair. So gosh, I don't know if y'all can see in this camera. I don't know. Okay, maybe this is better light. I'm trying to, I'm gonna do this. <laughs> and clean off the thing. Okay, so basically what I did differently today, I did my own wash and go and I kept the hair like in its twisted, like twist out state because it actually mirrors my natural pattern more than if I just wore it in its natural pattern. So I think I'm coming together with like what I need to do to blend this hair um, to my texture more. And I think that's what I'm gonna have to do because this looks better than it did earlier. Um, it looks a little bit uh, more combined and like, you know, blended or whatever. But I definitely cannot wait until I get the second pack because I keep looking at my hair and I'm like, oh, I can see where I wanna fix it. And I can see where I wanna like add more hair, but I can't because I don't have hair right now. Hair is a little bun up here because low key, I think I'm gonna wear a hat tonight. I, I think I'm gonna wear this either, either my green Nike hat that y'all have seen many a time because I work out in it all the time. Or I'm gonna wear this hat that I got from Mark by God is Dope. I might wear this, I don't know. But then again, I'm like, I don't even know what I'm gonna wear. Oh shoot, I'm wearing it to the wall, what is wrong with me? I don't know, uh, my foot got caught. <laughs> my foot got caught on um, a uh, something. Anyway, uh, I'm like stressing because I can't figure out what I wanna wear. And I just, like I have this like uh, not Becky shirt on, which I'm like, okay, this is cute. I can like wear like, <sighs> like leggings and like, this jean jacket I just got but oof, it, here's the deal like I just don't feel comfortable in this like I just don't feel like this is what I'm supposed to wear I feel like I'm supposed to be wearing something else but I cannot figure that out at this moment I don't know I'm gonna try a couple things out and see like how I feel because the main thing is that I feel like fat so <laughs> My stomach is just, okay, so here's the deal. I've been losing weight, but my stomach, y'all, I like have a little like pudge and I'm trying to get rid of it, but it is always the last to go. It's always the last to go. So I've got to work with that. Um, so I'm trying to figure out what is going to be like something to wear that gives me, I mean, it has to be dope, obviously. I'm going to see Kanye. I can't. Um, I'm trying to figure out what else I want to bring. I really want to bring those shoes, but they're so far up there. Look, they're all the way up there. I don't do that, okay? Mark does that because I can't reach up there. Oh, God. Okay, y'all, we figured it out what we're going to wear. So I'm wearing this, like, Nike um, top. It's like a 
what's it called tank top and these dry fit leggings you know i'm keeping it like fit cash athletic wear whatever so yeah that's what i'm wearing this is what i'm wearing i'm not sure what shoes i'm wearing yet um we'll see and we'll see about how i'm gonna do my hair i kind of want to do a head wrap kind of sort of i don't know we'll see what i end up doing if i do a head wrap or wear a hat okay y'all so i am dressed and ready to go this is what i'm wearing I filmed a get ready with me, so no worries. By the time this vlog is up, it will be coming live on Wednesday. So in a couple days, it'll be up live on this whole look, how I did this turban on my head, um, to the hair, to makeup, clothes, all that. So I'm about to head out and go meet up with Mark so we can go to the concert. And of course, I'll be bringing you guys with me, so yeah, I need to um, grab a couple things and then we are off. Merch. Merch. We got merch. <laughs> merch. <laughs> okay, y'all, we just got to our seats. We're eating some pizza before the show gets started. Of course, I got a lime Rita. He got some beer. What kind of beer did you get? No. Stella? Cider. Cider. Stella cider? Yeah. So we're gonna chill and wait for the show to start. You can't see me as her fault. <laughs> she don't respect my dark skinness. Lighting is not my friend. Okay, you don't know. I can brighten this up on like the editor. Well, you may want to do that ASAP because all this is my teeth. Don't do that. Do I like to say, hey? <laughs> I'm black and I'm proud. <laughs> Fist emoji. <laughs>
he's amazed that they have slot machines in the airport. Uh, you gonna play one real quick? Just for luck? <sighs> okay, fine. Let's let's play. Play one for luck. All right, come on. Really? All right. So, what I gotta do? Um, push it, do. put cash, yeah. cash, push or. Cash out. Oh, somebody just won. Yeah, they won a dollar sixty nine cents. Oh, they didn't. Yeah, it did. It says it right there. Ooh, that's got to be good. I don't know. Okay. You won! Yay! <laughs> this has to be a good sign. <laughs> what does this mean? Ten dollars. Let's see. Thirteen dollars. I want thirteen dollars. Okay, so now I'll put it back in. I'll no, just cash it out because our car is waiting for us. Oh man. <laughs> Let's go look at the, let's go look at the bathroom. <laughs> look at the bed. And they got robes for us. <gasps> oh my gosh, they're important with our names. <gasps> oh my gosh, y'all look, my name's on there. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my god! Oh my god, y'all. What? What? Oh, they put my face in there, the curl nourish. Y'all, y'all, y'all. This, oh, oh my gosh, y'all, they are so cute, Garnier, y'all are my, y'all, you know what, Garnier, you can, you can call me to do anything, okay, cause y'all, this is, this is too much, oh my gosh, y'all, oh, okay, this is, they left me a note, y'all, says, welcome to Vegas, we are so thrilled to have you here with us for the iHeart Festival, enjoy some of your favorite snacks and cozy, robe to get you through the weekend. Cheers to Garnier team, gifted by Garnier. <laughs> oh my gosh, this view, like I just wanna stay on this freaking, this, oh my gosh, this view. Y'all gotta call my mom, I gotta call my mom. I gotta call her. Of course, we had to hit the spot. <laughs> What you think, boss man? Bro. It's a good store. A good spot. Good location. Mm -hmm. A lot of energy. Energy is a must. It's pretty dope. Not for the stuff, though. Yes, y'all. We walked in and we had champagne.
y'all. I swear. <laughs> y'all not gonna believe what me and Mark did. So, you know, I just had this whole moment earlier about um, being so excited about the room and what it was looking like. And we were both like, just like, you know, going crazy about the suite. And we left our luggage outside of our door and didn't realize it until, what, six hours later? Yeah, because we literally like left the bags outside and we're in a suite so like there's so many different areas and we were kind of like running all over the place and so when we walked out the bags weren't there so we didn't even see to think about them. So we leave, we go have lunch, we go shopping, it's been hours. We get back to the hotel room and I'm like okay let me like kind of like fix my hair up or whatever. I'm like dang where's my bag at? And he's like, oh shit, like we left them outside. I was like, what, what? They call the security people, find the bags. They're like, we don't suggest leaving your bags outside because people might steal them. And I'm thinking to myself, do you not think I, I, I would know that? But you know what? I'm not even going to say anything because you know what? I deserve this right now. We both deserve this right now because who does that? Like, who leaves their whole bag outside and doesn't even think about it until hours later? To our defense, we were kind of like going crazy about the room and we had been drinking on the plane already. So let's just say it was because of that. So anyway, <laughs> we're about to go get ready for dinner. Um, we're gonna have go dinner. <laughs> no, I can't talk. We're about to go have dinner with the Garnier team and some other influencers that they also brought out here, and then um, head to the concert. Drake is tonight, so I'm so freaking excited because he's like literally the last artist on my list that I really wanted to see or been wanting to see in concert lately. So I knocked off Kanye and I'm knocking off Drake um, in the same week. Drake was popping. Drake 
was everything. Everything. We basically saw him perform two times. Yeah. It was the everything. Time we were super close. Yes, we were so close. Like, oh my god, it was amazing. Yeah, yeah. It was I so see He's always telling somebody <laughs> with some Nikes on that they got some nice shoes. Hey, people love compliments, okay? One compliment per hour every day to somebody. Make them smile. Mm -hmm. Like, babe, you look amazing. Thank you. It's a sexy ass. <laughs> like, you need some bleeps. The last one didn't have that many bleeps. I know. So it's not supposed to bleep. But I don't bleep like ass. Well, sometimes I bleep shit, but. I, I am gonna believe that, but I'm saying like hell and ass and damn, I don't believe. That. About the other ones, like which ones? <laughs> no. What's this? Like which ones? The, the which, other words. What words? My arm is getting tired already. I think this arm is stronger for vlogging than my other arm. So you have a strong arm. You have yep. a vlogging arm. Yeah. My vlogging arm is my right arm. Right That's the strong arm. Put that arm under contract. Insurance on that arm, <laughs> just in case it's needed. We, we might need insurance on this arm. <laughs> but there's the rest of the group back there. Well, somewhere they're all the way back there. We might have to slow down a little bit. We get lost. But yeah, we're headed into the day lounge, village, whatever it's called. Mark just won with $20. Yay! I picked the machine though, so I get some credit. Yay! Ah. We're going back home. So, see y'all in the next vlog. It's been great. Bye. We, won money. we did win we money. money. <laughs> y'all, so my last sister is on this panel with me. Look what she brought. This is her, this is her shot. It's a shot and a cup. <laughs>